Good morning, uh, good afternoon or good evening wherever you might be in the world. Thanks for coming to my channel and watching it. Uh, we're just going to be making up a nice little worm treat this morning for the worms in the hungry bin. Uh, so it's made up of two ingredients plus some uh, filtered rainwater that I've boiled up and just let that cool. So uh, we'll dive straight into it. So I'm using unsulfured organic molasses and um, this is the mature stage of the sugarcane plant so it's had no other additives added to it to preserve it or anything like that so uh, it's just in its natural form and it is very safe to use in your worm farm so I'd highly recommend using unsulfured. Also just going to be using some wheat bran, you can use oat bran if you like, it's only about two dollars from the grocery store so it's pretty cheap and you get a number of uh, Little servings out of it um, or depends how, how much you're making so today we're just going to probably just make two cups so approximately two cups of warm water I'm using rain water I've just filtered this through from my rainwater tank and boiled it up uh, it's safer to use rain water in your worm farms otherwise it doesn't have the chlorine and that in there which actually kills kills off the little cocoons and the worms so you just want to put all natural stuff into your worm bin so that's all being said, let's put it all together. So the first ingredients, what we're going to be doing is putting about two cups of the wheat bran in. Next, what we're going to be doing is putting approximately oh, just a heaped dessert spoonful in here. It's a very, very distinctive smell. It's all sticking to the spoon, I know. <laughs> So next we're just going to be adding the warm water in here. We'll just rinse some of it off with a spoon. Let's give that a little bit of a stir around. A little bit more water. So it's not too liquidy. Um, we probably used sort of one and three, uh, one and a half cups of water for that. So this is a good way to try and get all your worms together and in, into a little bit of a worm ball. So if you do want to sort of reduce the population in your worm farm. Uh, it's a good way of doing it so you can just sort of scoop them all out and have them all in one hit so you can pop it into another worm farm uh, if you've got one going so there you go it's just a nice little worm treat there for the worms very simple to make only two ingredients really plus your water easy as so what i'm going to do is i'll just dig up a little corner here Then I can just pop this in here for them. And just put it in the corner there, a little feeding zone for them. And we'll just cover it up lightly, just flick some of that over there. And uh, yeah, they should actually hopefully move down there in the next couple of days and uh, really enjoy that. Yeah. 
Well, thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. It would really help my channel and maybe consider subscribing to my channel as well. And we'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.